Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to stream a PS Vita to your computer and record the gameplay. Um, they made it kind of so it's very difficult to do so. You're not really supposed to capture the gameplay from your Vita screen. So it is rather expensive and there is a lot of cords involved. But it's simple, just expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. <laughs> Um, my PlayStation Vita is probably one of my favorite systems to play on and I am into streaming now so I really wanted to find a way to stream my Vita games. Um, so I hope this is as helpful to you as it is to me so I'll go ahead and start explaining everything to you. So I'm going to tell you first what you're going to need. So you're going to need three HDMI cords, you're going to need a capture card, an HDMI splitter, uh, 1.3 specifically or else it won't work. Um, you also need, obviously, a computer, um, a HDTV, or even a second monitor. I'm using a second monitor, so I'll tell you how to do it with both. Um, if you are using an older monitor that doesn't have HDMI ports, um, you could buy, like, an HDMI to DVI cable. Um, I went and bought one by accident, and then realized I already had an HDMI port on my TV, or, uh, on my monitor. Editor. Then you're also going to need a PlayStation TV and of course like a, a memory card for the PS Vita and some games, but that's all common sense there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and plug all this stuff in. Okay, so this is my mess that I have here for everything to set it up. So what you're going to want to do is first you're going to have your PlayStation TV. So you're going to plug in the HDMI cord that comes with your PlayStation TV and plug that directly into your splitter right here. So that's going to be in the input because you're obviously transferring the data that's going on to here to the splitter. So you can split it to your computer as well as your monitor or TV. So after you do that, you're going to put one of the HDMI cords from your splitter and plug it into your monitor or TV. And like I said, if you had an old monitor, you could use a different adapter to connect it. Um, and then you're going to plug in a third HDMI into the other port. And that's going to plug in to your capture card. So I'm using the Elgato here. And if you haven't installed the software yet for the Elgato, I would do that now. Because you're going to plug it in directly into the USB port into your computer. And then when you do that, it should automatically recognize it. And then you'll open the game capture window. And then it'll pop up right here. So it's really that easy. Um, when I like to stream, I like to stream directly through the Elgato software for um, the PlayStation TV just because there is a delay by about two seconds. So normally I would use OBS and you still could do it if you're more comfortable with it. So I'm just going to close this for now. So let's show you a stream of the PlayStation TV. So OBS still captures your gameplay, the only thing is it's two seconds delayed, so now your webcam as well as your voice are ahead of your gameplay by two seconds, so you're going to be giving spoilers left and right here to your viewers. But you could go into the settings, so right click on your webcam, properties, and then you could um, use buffering. So you could change list. Um, it's different for everybody, it's not exactly two seconds, so you're going to have to do some tests to see how long it is. Um, for me it was about 1500 milliseconds, so you can type 1500 milliseconds here and that will delay your webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that though. But then there's also your audio, so for your audio you have to go into your main settings. Go audio of course. And then you're just going to go to mic sync offset and then put the same amount you do for your webcam. So I'd put 1500 there. And then that would sync up this with my game and then you could stream that way. Um, I just find it hard to get it perfect because it does change a little bit. Like, let's say you're streaming for 20 minutes. Um, then after 20 minutes, it's not the same. So the speed has to be adjusted over and over again. So I find it easier just to go into the actual Elgato software and just put my webcam on there and stream directly for there when I use it my Vita. So yeah, also um, you plug into your PlayStation TV just like you would on your regular TV a PS4 or PS3 controller. So you just play with this on your TV. So yeah, this is 
the mess. <laughs> but it works, and that's all that matters. See, that wasn't so difficult. It's just really expensive to get everything you need for it, and there's so many cables all over the place. But if you really want to do it, it is worth it. I really hope this video helped you. Um, I'm really happy that I can do this so I can stream some of my Vita games. I'll probably go play some Dragon's Crown or something soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye!